mentorship for me is like something I wished I would have had back in Switzerland. And um, because I started as well, like most of you guys probably just from like YouTube or no, before when I started, there was no YouTube at that point. I was like, just kind of like seeing nice little pictures on silicon graphic documentation boxes for like silicon graphics machines and eventually just developed an interest and started then doing it on my own with reading manuals, with uh, looking at websites because there was not a lot of video content, but anyhow, I wish I would have had a mentor back then, somebody who just is at my side, answers my questions, stops my overthinking in certain ways, and just guides me a little bit through the process. And for me, that's what I try to give my students. I try to be there. I try to adapt my mentoring style to the students. Some students like one long session a week. Some students like to have a split um, per week in like two smaller sessions. And um, it's just something nice to grow with this, with especially here now with Thomas and, and Simon through this whole process of like seeing them when they start in advance, then seeing them six months later and the quality and how their work improved. And I mean, at the end, it's their hard work. I'm just here being like a guideline to kind of notch into the right direction and, and try my best to kind of like give feedback onto their work and to improve their work, train their eyes to look at the right things. And um, it's like mentorship is a personally tailored learning experience to you, right? It's not like when I'm doing the advanced classes where I have usually like six to eight students. Um, it's like two hours, basically a week, one-on-one -on -one time where we can go through all kind of processes and iterations with the work. 